English 4 by Irene Verischagina and Olga Nikolaeva. Roundup Lessons. Lesson 1. Number 1. Exercise 7. Listen to the song, What's the Weather Like Today? Now, listen to the words of the song and repeat them after the announcer. What's the weather like today? Spring, summer, autumn, and winter. 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 What's the weather like today? Is it sunny? What's the weather like today? Is it rainy? What's the weather like today? It's quite funny how it's changing. What's the weather like today? Is it snowing? What's the weather like today? Is it clearing? What's the weather like today? Is it going to be really very nice indeed? Shining sun and sparkling sea, warm and dry, with just a breeze among the trees. Breeze. Spring, summer, autumn, and winter. 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 Yesterday the wind was blowing. Is today going to be fine? Spring, summer, autumn, and winter. 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 Now sing the song together with the singer. Bye. 
Now, sing the song to the music. Lesson four, number two, exercise seven. Listen to the song, I like food. Now, listen to the words of the song and repeat them after the announcer. I like food. I like eating lots and lots of food. I like food. I like eating lots and lots of food. Bread and jam and meat and fish. Cakes and biscuits too. Beans and mustard, eggs and chips. Mutton steaks. Potatoes, peas, and salted mushrooms too. I like food. I like eating lots and lots of food. I like food. I like eating lots and lots of food. Cabbage, tomatoes, lettuce leaves, chocolate and cheese, toast and butter, soup and spices, onions, cereal, cucumber slices, marrows. Pumpkins, beets. Don't forget, I also like drinking when I eat. Coffee, tea, and orange soda, fruity lemonade, Coca-Cola, 
Sugar makes them sweet. I like food. I like eating lots and lots of food. I like food. I like eating lots and lots of food. Some more, please. Now, sing the song together with the singer. Now sing the song to the music. Lesson five. Number three, exercise four. Listen to the first and second parts of the text, pets, and answer the questions. Pets. Part one. What animals are usually the most favorite pets? People keep animals as pets in all countries, in India and England. In America, in Canada, and Russia, these animals often become the most favorite members of the family. Pets get names. People look after them, teach them different tricks, buy them tasty food, toys, presents, and even clothes. The most favorite pets in all the countries are kittens and cats, puppies and dogs. But many people keep parrots and other birds at home. Sometimes they have got hamsters and tortoises, monkeys and snakes, frogs and fishes as pets. Some people have more than one pet, and some people don't have any pets at all, as tastes differ. Now listen to the second part of the text and answer the question. 
Do people sometimes keep wild animals as pets? Why? From books and films, we learn that little wolves, lions, bears, crocodiles, and other wild animals can become pets too. People sometimes find little animals in the forests, fields, mountains, and other places. The cubs have no mothers to take care of them, and they can't live without any help. People often take them home and look after them. They try to help. It is not always easy to do so because many people do not know how to feed cubs or how to take care of them. Wild animals are to go back to the places where they lived when they grow up. Sometimes people give them to the zoos or circuses where they become actors. Lesson 6. Number 4. Exercise 4. Listen to what Evelyn did on the 25th of December and say what holiday she celebrated that day, what presents she got. On the 25th of December, we got up early. It was still dark. I ran to my mother and looked under the Christmas tree. Santa Claus with his bag was not there, but his presents were. They were under the Christmas tree in colored boxes. I opened my present. A beautiful doll with large blue eyes. She wore a white dress. I also got a book. Late in the afternoon, we had a traditional dinner of turkey with vegetables and salads. We also had cookies and fruits. During the day, we watched Christmas TV and played with our new toys. Lesson 7, number 5, exercise 6. Listen to the song, The Bear Went Over the Mountain. Now, listen to the words of the song and repeat them after the announcer. The bear went over the mountain. The bear went over the mountain. The bear went over the mountain to see what he could see. And all that he could see was the other side of the mountain. The other side of the mountain. The other side of the mountain was all that he could see. Now, sing the song together with the singer. Side of the mountain. 
Now, sing the song to the music. Lesson 8, number 6, exercise 6. Listen to the song, Mulberry Bush. Here we go round the mulberry bush, the mulberry bush, the mulberry bush. Here we go round the mulberry bush on a cold and frosty morning. This is the way we wash our hands, wash our hands, wash our hands. This is the way we wash our hands on a cold and frosty morning. This is the way we clean our teeth, clean our teeth, clean our teeth. This is the way we clean our teeth on a cold and frosty morning. This is the way we comb our hair, comb our hair, comb our hair. This is the way we comb our hair on a cold and frosty morning. This is the way we clean our shoes, clean our shoes, clean our shoes. This is the way we clean our shoes on a cold and frosty morning. This is the way we run to school, run to school, run to school. This is the way we run to school on a cold and frosty morning. This is the way we walk in the park, walk in the park, walk in the park. This is the way we walk in the park on a cold and frosty morning. Now, listen to the words of the song and repeat them after the announcer. Mulberry Bush. Here we go round the mulberry bush, the mulberry bush, the mulberry bush. Here we go round the mulberry bush on a cold and frosty morning. This is the way we wash our hands, wash our hands, wash our hands. This is the way we wash our hands on a cold and frosty morning. This is the way we clean our teeth. Clean our teeth. Clean our teeth. This is the way we clean our teeth on a cold and frosty morning. This is the way we comb our hair. Comb our hair. Comb our hair. This is the way we comb our hair on a cold and frosty morning. This is the way we clean our shoes. Clean our shoes. Clean our shoes. This is the way we clean our shoes on a cold and frosty morning. This is the way we run to school. Run to school. Run to school. This is the way we run to school on a cold and frosty morning. This is the way we walk in the park. Walk in the park. Walk in the park. This is the way we walk in the park on a cold and frosty morning. Now, sing the song together with the singer. Here we go round the mulberry bush, the mulberry bush, the mulberry bush. Here we go round the mulberry bush on a cold and frosty morning. This is the way we wash our hands, wash our hands, wash our hands. This is the way we wash our hands on a cold and frosty morning. This is the way we clean our teeth, clean our teeth, clean our teeth. This is the way we clean our teeth on a cold and frosty morning. This is the way we comb our hair, comb our hair, comb our hair. This is the way we comb our hair on a cold and frosty morning. This is the way we clean our shoes, clean our shoes, clean our shoes. This is the way we clean our shoes on a cold and frosty morning. This is the way we run to school, 
run to school, run to school. This is the way we run to school on a cold and frosty morning. This is the way we walk in the park, walk in the park, walk in the park. This is the way we walk in the park on a cold and frosty morning. Now, sing the song to the music. Lesson 9. Number 7. Exercise 1. Learn how to pronounce and use the new words. Listen and repeat. Ah. The sun. Sunday. Monday. On Sunday. On Monday. Last Monday. Next Sunday. This Monday, every Sunday. On Sundays, we don't go to school. In Russia, Monday is the first day of the week. In Great Britain, it is Sunday. What day comes after Monday? You. You. Tuesday. On Tuesday. Next Tuesday. Tuesday comes after Monday. Where do you usually go on Tuesday? Do you go to the sports ground on Tuesday? Wa. We. Wednesday. On Wednesday. Last Wednesday, my mom had a birthday party. Do we play tennis every Wednesday? Er. Her. Thursday. On Thursday. This Thursday. Thursday is my father's day off. Does Granny usually cook anything tasty on Thursday? I. My. Friday. On Friday. Last Friday, we went to the pet shop and bought a nice little hamster for my sister. E. She. Meet. To meet. Met. Meet friends. Meet my sister. It's nice to meet you. When shall we meet? We'll meet on Wednesday. We met last Friday. Ah, father, laugh, to laugh, laughed, to laugh at good jokes. When I saw a funny monkey, I laughed a lot. Never laugh at old people. I wonder what he is laughing at. Number 8. Exercise 9. Listen to the song, We Met on Sunday, Part 1. We met on Sunday, the first of July. We talked on Monday, the second of July. Sunday we met and 
Now, listen to the words of the song and repeat them after the announcer. We met on Sunday. We met on Sunday, the 1st of July. We talked on Monday, the 2nd of July. On Sunday we met, and on Monday we talked. That was the 2nd of July. We smiled on Tuesday, the 3rd of July. On Sunday we met, and on Monday we talked. On Tuesday we smiled, on the 3rd of July. We laughed on Wednesday, the 4th of July. On Sunday we met, and on Monday we talked. On Tuesday we smiled, and on Wednesday we laughed, on the 4th of July. Now sing the song together with the singer. Now, sing the song to the music. Lesson 10. Number 9. Exercise 5. Learn how to pronounce and use the new words. Listen and repeat. Ah. Lost. Class. Class. Classes. In class. 
after classes, before classes. When does the Russian class begin? Do you always speak English in class? After classes, I often go shopping. We never meet with my friend before classes. There are thirty pupils in our class. Ah, come, comfortable, a comfortable chair, comfortable shoes. Is your room very comfortable? I don't think my new boots are very comfortable. You, pupil, uniform, a uniform, uniforms, a brown uniform, a dark blue uniform. They all wear uniforms at their school. Do all pupils wear uniforms in class? Pupils don't often like to wear uniforms when they are at school. P.E. Physical Education. I have P.E. on Thursday morning and on Monday afternoon. What do you do in your P.E. class? Do you wear T-shirts in your P.E. class? What's your P.E. uniform like? Ah. Handicraft. When do you have handicraft? I have handicraft on Tuesday and Friday. Do you always wear uniforms in our handicraft classes? Who is your handicraft teacher? What do you usually do in your handicraft classes? Eh. Ten. Exercise. An exercise book. Exercise books. Susan has got a big exercise book for handicraft. There are many exercise books in my bag. Open your exercise books, please. You. Beautiful. Museum. A museum. Museums. To go to the museum. Are there many different museums in London? We shall meet at the museum at four. What museums in Moscow do you know? Eh. Red. Pencil. A pencil. Pencils. Colored pencils. Draw in pencil. He's got many colored pencils in the box. Where is my favorite pencil? He can draw in pencil very well. Number ten, exercise six. Listen to the questions and answer them. When do you have PE? Do you like your PE classes? What do you do in PE class? Do you wear a uniform when you have PE? What is it like? Are you comfortable in it or not? Do all boys and girls wear a uniform when they have PE? When do you have handicraft? What do you do when you have it? Do you write in your exercise books when you have handicraft? Do you go to museums with your teacher of handicraft? Number eleven. Exercise eleven. Listen to the dialogue. What are you doing this Friday? I don't know yet. Why? You see, we are having a test on Saturday. Can you help me with my English? Of course I can. When shall I come? Can you meet me after classes? Okay, two o'clock then. See you later. Bye. Bye, and thanks a lot. Read after the announcer. What are you doing this Friday? I don't know yet. Why? You see, we are having a test on Saturday. Can you help me with my English? Of course I can. When shall I come? Can you meet me after classes? Okay, two o'clock then. 
See you later. Bye. Bye, and thanks a lot. Lesson 11, number 12, exercise four. Learn how to pronounce and use the new words. Listen and repeat. Ah, ask, half, halves. The first half of the day, half a cake, half an apple. Give me half a carrot, please. Ah, past, past two, past five. It's half past four. After classes at half past two, I go to the swimming pool. Do you always come home from school at half past twelve? Eh, pet, desk, a desk. Desks. To sit at the desk. To be at the desk. To sit down at the desk. There are twelve desks in the room. Is your desk comfortable? I think it is. There are some colored pencils and an exercise book on the desk. Ah. Class. Classroom. A classroom? Classrooms. What is there in your classroom? There are some desks, chairs, and the teacher's table in it. How many classrooms are there in your school? There are a lot. Eh. Pencil. Lesson. A lesson? Lessons. A difficult lesson. At the lesson. How many lessons have you got on Monday? What lessons have you got on Tuesday? Do you like your English lessons? I. Time. Timetable. School timetable. On the timetable. Do you know where our timetable is? Look at the timetable. When do we have handicraft? We have PE and history on the timetable today. Ah. Had. Maths. Maths exercises. Our maths teacher. Problems with maths. When have we got maths? My brother has got maths on Tuesday. Have you got any problems with maths? Ah. Arm. Art. Art museum. Art exercises. Your art teacher. Have you got art today? We've got art on Thursday and Friday. We like our art classes very much. You. Tuesday. Music. Music exercises. Music class. A music teacher. I like music very much. Have you got music on Thursday? What do you think of your music classes? Ah. Butter. Study. Study. Studied. When you study, you begin to know a lot. He likes to have classes of nature study. Did you have nature study on Thursday? What do you usually do in your nature study class? 
who is your nature study teacher? Number 13, exercise 9. Listen to the song, We Met on Sunday, part 2. Now, listen to the words of the song and repeat them after the announcer. We met on Sunday. We danced on Thursday, the 5th of July. On Sunday we met, and on Monday we talked. On Tuesday we smiled, and on Wednesday we laughed. On Thursday we danced, on the 5th of July. We cried on Friday, the 6th of July. On Sunday we met, and on Monday we talked. On Tuesday we smiled, and on Wednesday we laughed. On Thursday we danced, and on Friday we cried. We parted on Saturday, the 7th of July. On Sunday we met, and on Monday we talked. On Tuesday we smiled, and on Wednesday we laughed. On Thursday we danced, and on Friday we cried. But on Saturday we parted, and we said goodbye. Goodbye. Now sing the song together with the singer.
Now, sing the song to the music. Lesson 12. Number 14. Exercise 4. Learn how to pronounce and use the new words. Listen and repeat. A. Ah. Black. Blackboard. A blackboard. Blackboards. On the blackboard. At the blackboard. Is there an English word on the blackboard? Mary is at the blackboard. U. Uh. Book. Bookcase. A bookcase. Bookcases. In the bookcase. What is there in the bookcase? There are a lot of books, exercise books, and pencils in it. We've got two bookcases in our classroom. W. Winter. Window. A window. Windows. An open window. To look out of the window. Near the window. How many windows are there in the classroom? There are two windows in it. All. Four. Door. A door. Doors. A white door. At the door. To open the door. What color is the door in your classroom? Look at the door. Why isn't it clean? Or. Floor. On the floor. What is there on the floor? What color is the floor in your classroom? Or. Ball. Wall. A wall. Walls. On the wall. Near the wall. 
The bookcase is at the wall. What color are the walls in your classroom? The walls are yellow. I. Pig. Picture. A picture. Pictures. A beautiful picture. A little picture. My favorite picture. In the picture. What can you see in the picture? There are three pictures on the wall. A. Make. Late. Late. Later. To be late for school. To be late for classes. Don't be late again. She is never late for school. Are they always late for classes? I'm sorry, I'm late. It's never too late to learn. Lesson 13, number 15, exercise 5. Learn how to pronounce and use the new words. Listen and repeat. E. Speak. Leave. To leave. Left. To leave the house. To leave Moscow. To leave Moscow for London. To leave for New York. When did he leave for Canada? He left for Canada on Wednesday. He usually leaves the house at half past eight. Oi. Enjoy. Join. To join. Joined. To join the group. We are going to the museum. Join us. Will you join us for a walk? Ing. Thing. Sing. To sing. Sang. To sing to the music. I like to sing very much. Shall I sing to you? Let's begin to sing. Will you sing again, please? Ah. Dog. A song? Songs. I know many Russian songs. We often meet on Friday evening and sing English songs. Enjoy the song. Y. Yeah. Yes. Yet. He doesn't know English yet. She is not nine yet. We haven't got this book yet. I'm ill. I can't go to school yet. Ow. Out. Count. To count. Counted. Count from one to twenty. The boy can't count well yet. The children can count quickly. Shall I count the apples? Ua. Poor. Poor people. A poor family. I don't think they are poor. His English is poor. Your answer was poor. They are not poor, are they? Er. Bird. 
work. To work, worked. To work well. To work at school. To do a lot of work about the house. This work is not interesting work. Have you got any extra work to do? His work is the best, isn't it? When do you begin work? By the way. Do you live away from school, by the way? By the way, we haven't got any bread for breakfast. What about your extra maths exercises, by the way? Ah. But. Luck. Good luck. Bye, Nelly. See you tomorrow. Good luck. We are having a test on Thursday. Oh, good luck. Number 16. Exercise 6. Listen and answer the questions. When do you usually leave the house? When did you leave the house yesterday? Will you join me after classes? Where shall we meet? What is your favorite song? Do you often sing before classes? Do you often sing after classes? You often count in class, don't you? Where did you work when you helped your parents? Did you have much extra work to do last week? Was your answer in English good or bad? Number 17, exercise 11. Listen to the poem, Meet Me in the Morning. Meet me in the morning. Meet me in the morning. Meet me at noon. Meet me in September or the middle of June. Meet me at midnight. Meet me in the hall. Meet me in the summer. Meet me in the fall. Meet me in the evening. Meet me at eight. I'll meet you any time you want, but please don't be late. Read after the announcer. Meet me in the morning. Meet me at noon. Meet me in September or the middle of June. Meet me at midnight. Meet me in the hall. Meet me in the summer. Meet me in the fall. Meet me in the evening. Meet me at eight. I'll meet you any time you want. But please don't be late. Lesson 14. Number 18. Exercise 5. Learn how to pronounce and use the new words. Listen and repeat. A. Late. Age. School age. At the age of 8. People of all ages. In Russia, children begin to go to school at the age of 6. In Great Britain, Pupils usually leave school at the age of 16. Eh. Ten. Pen. A pen. Pens. There are many pens and pencils on my desk. Count your pens, please. 
Where is your pen? Ah. Cup. Rubber. A rubber? Rubbers. A pencil with a rubber. Give me the rubber, please. I haven't got a rubber in my bag. Do you like my new blue rubber? Ooh. Blue. Ruler. A ruler? Rulers. Your ruler is longer than my ruler. Can you give me a ruler, please? Where are the rulers? Ah. Dark. Carpet. A carpet? Carpets. A beautiful carpet. Shall I put the carpet on the floor? Your carpet makes the classroom comfortable. There is a beautiful carpet near the bookcase. Ow. Out. Outdoors. Out of doors. I like to play different games outdoors. In hot countries, you can sleep outdoors. It is cold outdoors, isn't it? Do you always play basketball outdoors? Eh. Big. Difficult. A difficult book. A difficult class. A difficult poem. A difficult game. I don't think it is difficult to help about the house now. E. Read. Easy. Easy work. An easy poem. Easy lessons. Our life is not always easy. It is sometimes very difficult. It is not always easy to count. Number 19, exercise 10. Listen to the poem, When the Sun is in the Sky. When the sun is in the sky. I get up and open my eyes. I wash, put on my dress and a pair of shoes, and all the things I wear. Then walking off to school I go, to learn the things that I must know. Read after the announcer. When the sun is in the sky. I get up and open my eyes. I wash, put on my dress and a pair of shoes. And all the things I wear. Then walking off to school I go. To learn the things that I must know. Lesson 15. Number 20. Exercise 5. Learn how to pronounce and use the new words. Listen and repeat. Eh. Pen. Spend. To spend. Spent. To spend money on books. To spend money on clothes. To spend time on the sports ground. Where did you spend your last Sunday? How do you spend your holidays? Ah. Rubber. Subject. Subject. Subjects. An interesting subject. Different subjects. We have many subjects on the timetable at school. What is your favorite subject at school? What is the most difficult subject for you? Eh. Pen. Get. Get on with. 
children learn how to get on with their friends at school. How are you getting on? They don't get on very well. He is easy to get on with. O. Over. To be over. The film is over. The lesson is not over yet. School is over. When will the holidays be over? Will your music class be over soon? Yes, it will be over next month. A. Face. Famous. A famous doctor. Famous pilots. A famous school. To be famous for something. London is famous for its museums. What is he famous for? He is famous for his book. Or. Floor. Important. An important subject. An important book. Important problems. It is a very important day, isn't it? This work will be very important. It is important not to be late for classes. Er. First. Learn. To learn. Learnt. To learn by heart. To learn well. To learn English. To learn to play chess. It's never too late to learn. Shall we learn it by heart? Yes, please. Listening Comprehension, Lesson Number One. Number Twenty One. Listen to the text, Better Late Than Never, and try to understand it. Better Late Than Never. One Wednesday morning, Finey Fox and Shiny Fox, the two little brothers, were walking to school. They walked slowly for ten minutes, then Shiny said, Be quick, or we shall be late for school. It is half past eight. But Finey said, I don't want to go to school today. We are late already. We can have so much fun in the forest. Our mother thinks we are at school, so we can play in the forest. We can go home when we hear the boys coming home from school. Shiny said this was a good idea. So the foxes ran to the river. What a good time they had. They laughed a lot. They swam in the river, they danced with little bears, and sang songs with the birds. They got on well with all the different animals who lived in the forest. The foxes didn't think at all about their classroom, their desks, pens, pencils, their books, and their lessons. Wednesday was their longest school day. They had maths, English, handicraft, art, and nature study on their timetable. All the subjects were very important. But the foxes didn't want to write on the blackboard or in their exercise books. They didn't want to study, to learn to count and to read. They didn't want to work. They wanted to play outdoors. Lesson 17, number 22, exercise 5. Learn how to pronounce and use the new words. Listen and repeat. Ow, house, a house, houses, a big house, a comfortable house. There are many new houses in our street. What color is your country house? E. Kitchen. A kitchen. Kitchens. A nice kitchen. 
there is a little kitchen in the place where I live. Is there any brown bread in the kitchen? How many kitchens have you got? Ah, pass, bathroom, a bathroom, bathrooms, a warm bathroom. There are two bathrooms in their house. What color are the walls in your bathroom? Arm, um, rather, rather well, rather famous, rather important. It's rather difficult to learn it by heart. The text is rather easy. It's a rather cold day. Which would you rather have, tea or coffee? Would you like to join us? Rather. Oi. A boy. Toilet. A toilet. Toilets. A little toilet. A clean toilet. Have you got a warm toilet? I mean, a warm bathroom in your country house? Our. Hour, flower, a flower, flowers, a beautiful flower, nice flowers. Where shall I put the flowers? I want to buy some flowers as a birthday present. Ah, uh, come, front, in front of. In front of the house, in front of the museum, in front of our school. What is there in front of the teacher's table? There's a blackboard in front of it. There are not many flowers in front of my granny's house. I find behind, behind the house, behind the forest. Behind the door. Are there any fruit trees behind your school? What is there behind your new house? Number twenty-three, exercise thirteen. Listen to the dialogue. Do you live near London? Oh yes, I do, in a small country house. Is your house comfortable? Rather, it's small but nice. With a large kitchen and a bathroom. Do you like your house? Oh, it's great. It's not far from London. I like it very much. There are a lot of beautiful flowers in front of my house, and there are three old apple trees behind it. Come and see me some day. You are always welcome. Read after the announcer. Do you live near London? Oh yes, I do. In a small country house. Is your house comfortable? Rather, it's small but nice, with a large kitchen and a bathroom. Do you like your house? Oh, it's great. It's not far from London. I like it very much. There are a lot of beautiful flowers in front of my house. And there are three old apple trees behind it. Come and see me some day. You are always welcome.